Hello, my friend. Welcome to this fifth practice in our Lent prayer meditation video series. This video is the last in our shorter series that we've been doing about surrender and as we journey with Jesus towards the cross. We'll be drawing inspiration from this entry by Meister Eckhart in this devotional um, Bread and Wine readings for Lent and Easter. We'll be leaning into the ideas of surrendering our motives and distractions. So, as always, find a comfortable place to sit or lie down for a few minutes. Settle into your body, deepen your breath, and let's begin. What a sacred space you have carved out to be face to face with your beloved. Honor that space right now by just settling into your body, noticing your breath, and if you haven't already, softening your gaze or closing your eyes. Allow the tension in your body to begin to melt away. Allow your breathing to begin to deepen. And notice how close and ever present the Spirit of God is. Maybe it's not something you can feel tangibly. Maybe it's something that feels hard to believe or connect with today. And if that's true for you today, my invitation to you is to just rest in the truth that God really is near, even if it's hard to feel, believe, or connect with. In today's practice in our Lent prayer meditation series, we'll meditate one more time on this idea of surrendering. And in this practice, will seek to surrender impure motives and distractions. And we turn to a story that's told in a few different gospel accounts. As Jesus enters Jerusalem, he goes to the temple. And inside the temple, he finds all these merchants, people selling things. And some of those things had to do with religious sacrifices that they were required to give, and some of them weren't related. But upon seeing all these merchants in the temple, Jesus gets angry. He flips the tables over and he kicks the merchants out and he tells them, you have made the Father's house a den of thieves. He's angry at the way that they have taken advantage of the sacredness and the holiness of this space and commercialized it, the way that they have used it for their own individual profit. It can be easy to read a story like this and distance ourselves from the people that Jesus gets angry towards. But my friend, how often are you and I the merchant? How often are we quick to commercialize or use something that God has given us for our own advancement and profit how often in this age of social media do we spend time alone with the Lord seeking a good word that we can share online and get more likes and followers? How many times do we do a good deed in the hope that God will see it and give us the thing that we really desire? How often do we try and manipulate and earn the kind of profit security, praise, or identity that is not from Christ. So let's take just a moment or two to ask the Holy Spirit to search our hearts, search the motives of our hearts, to reveal to us the ways that we use God for our own gain.
Meister Eckhart writes that as long as we look for some kind of pay for what we do, as long as we want to get something from God in some kind of exchange, we are like the merchants. If you want to be rid of the commercial spirit, then by all means do all you can in the way of good works, but do so solely for the praise of God. Live as if you did not exist. Expect and ask nothing in return. Then the merchant inside you will be driven out of the temple God has made. Then God alone dwells there. See, This is how the temple is cleared. When a person thinks only of God and honors God alone, only such a person is free and genuine. As we begin to notice the ways that we use God for our own gain, perhaps you begin to notice some of the distractions of your heart, the deeper things that it lusts after that uses these tools of commercialization and manipulation to get what they want. So take these next couple moments to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what some of those distractions are. What what is driving you just today to go to the temple and instead of worshiping, instead of being face to face with God, to set up your table and sell things that lie in your pocket. And now, God, we surrender these things to you. We know these motivations, these desires, and these distractions do not come as a surprise to you, but they grieve our hearts, God. Remove them from our hearts, from our hands, from our minds, and from our lips. Meister Eckhart goes on to write, Observe that when all is cleared, there is nobody left but Jesus. And when he is alone, he is able to speak in the temple of the soul. This is a beautiful gift that is ours, my friends. As we sweep away these tables of commercialization, as we flee from impure motives and distractions, What is left but Jesus alone in the temple? That is our great reward. That is our heart's desire. Take these final few moments just to be alone with him. Jesus, how we love your presence, how we yearn for more of it. Purify our hearts, draw them closer to yours. In Jesus' name, amen.